the pelvic bone and as you know the pelvic bone consists of the ileum the ischium the ileum the ischium and the pubis first of all let us see the iliac crest this is the ileum this bone is the ileum and this is the iliac crest iliac crest is a s shaped cavity is a s shaped crest which is divided into a anterior two third which is convex laterally and a posterior one third which is concave laterally the iliac crest consists of three lips the inner lip the intermediate lip and the lateral lip these give rise to the muscles the the transversus abdominis the internal oblique and the external oblique the three muscles of the abdominal wall these three muscles of the abdominal wall lie like this okay the the external lip goes into what is called as the iliac tuberosity and from the iliac tuberosity the tensor fascia lata mu muscle arises goes into an iliotibial band and goes and gets inserted in the fibula below so there is this tensor fascia lata which arises from this the posterior third of the ileum the posterior third of the ileum is divided into into two parts an outer part which gives rise to latissimus dorsi and an inner part which gives rise to quadratus lumborum short iliac crest an s shaped cavity transversus abdominis internal oblique and external oblique from outer side the tensor fascia lata from the iliac crest from the iliac tuberosity and in the posterior one third out outer side latissimus dorsi inner side quadratus lumborum now we go here this is the posterior in posterior superior iliac spine and this is the posterior inferior iliac spine after this there is the greater sciatic notch this is the ischial spine this is the iliac tuberosity this is the iliac tuberosity and this is the ischio pubic ramus so if i want to draw this then i will make an iliac crest i will make a posterior superior spine and a posterior inferior spine i will make a greater sciatic notch i will make a ischial spine then i will make a lesser sciatic notch the ischio pubic ramus the ischial tuberosity the ischio pubic ramus and i will end up in the pubic symphysis so you see the greater sciatic notch the ischial spine the ischial tuberosity the ischio pubic ramus and the pubic symphysis all right now if i want to drop down from here if i want to drop down from this this is the anterior superior spine then there is a notch and we have the anti infelix spine then we have this acetabulum which gives rise to pectineal eminence pectineal eminence then we have another notch which gives rise to the femoral artery vein and nerve then there is this pubic tubercle and pubic crest the pubic tubercle and pubic crest and here you have the acetabulum which notches like this and this is the acetabular notch this is the articular portion of the acetabulum this is the articular portion of the acetabulum and here you have the acetabular fossa from here downwards you have 
this operator operator for a minute all right from behind here you have the sacrum you have the sacrum here you have the sacro tuberous ligament which gets attached like this and you have the sacro spinous ligament which goes from the ischial spine to here so that this foramen is converted this notch is converted into the greater sciatic foramen and this notch is converted into the lesser sciatic foramen so this is the ilium from the outer side and here you have the transverse we'll color these ligaments as green here you have a transverse acetabular ligament and from this transverse acetabular ligament arises the ligamentum teres which goes and gets attached to the head to the fovea capitis of the head of the femur so this is the head of the femur this is the fovea capitis it articulates like this and the transverse acetabular ligament is here down down here from here it arises the ligamentum teres arises or the ligament of the head arises and goes and gets attached to the fovea capitis here all right so this is how you you are seeing this bone all right